Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to discuss Qt TCP socket. The example we are going to demonstrate in this video is to build a simple graphical user interface TCP socket client. So the example we are going to use today, we have a, uh, this is the basic uh, dialog, Windows dialog design, and I have a plant text editor, which is used for display the log communication between the server and the client. This is the line editor, which we use to write message and hit enter to send to the server. And this is the button we click to connect, build a connection, to from the client to the server, which this button will be disconnect. In order to write a TCP socket program, first of all, we have to in the profile, we have to include the network. And after we include the network, in this header file, which we have to include a Q TCP socket header files. And we also have to, in this header file, we have only one member, is Q TCP socket star called my my socket and uh, under that in our implementation program and uh, we have to declare after declare my socket equal new TCP socket this so this is instantialize our socket object and we have using one signal which for the read read when the socket has server has something ready for read where we trigger our slot called read read so here is the explanation of a signal read read this signal is emitted once every time new data is available for reading. So if a socket have some new data for reading, will be triggered this read, uh, read a read. So first we have to click working on the button connect. When this button connect clicked, we're going to build a connection, which is here, we're going to build a connection. So we are going first uh, UI, clean the log, Clear. So we clean the log box and uh, we are going to build a connection. So my socket, which connect to what? Connect to host. So I have uh, the test uh, TCP server, which is 127. This is uh, the local host. And, uh, Part number is one two three four. It's just uh, hard writing this one. And after that, we're going to check if we connected or not. My socket waiting for connected. It's waiting for three seconds maximum. And uh, we're going to, after this write, um, plan text editor. We're going to write is uh, two dot zero dot zero dot one P O R T. We're going to write a connect to server. OK, 
very successful success. And uh, here on the button two clicked, and which is this one clicked, which is the disconnect. So we're going to write a thing for disconnect. For before we doing some action disconnect, I have to check my is open. Then we do the disconnect, right? We're going to my socket close. Connect to host. This means closed. And uh, that's uh, that's all. So if there's something ready for reading, so we're going to say Q byte array my and my my byte are equal my socket read everything and um, so we're going to then we're going to write to the, our plan text editor open the text what we're going to kill string my and here we are going to write something first of all we need to clear chair array and call my chair let's say I will take clear 1024 is maximum for line and uh, we have to check if my socket is writable then what we're going to do we're going to pick up the line editor Q, my Q string my string are equal which here on this design graphics, this is the line editor we'll pick up the text from this editor to a Q string called my string and uh, we have to do the side and uh, my every time so we use memory we have to set up a initial size my chair plus one and CPY copy our text editor and we have to convert to UTF-8 because the character is one byte chair which is UTF-8 and uh, my
Nice. How many chair we learn? And after that, we just simply do my socket. Right. My chair. And um, my socket. Wait. Or binding to right end, so sometimes we let's say take one second to wait. This is not a good writing program, but uh, just for this simple demo, and uh, then we going to write a log to see what we write upon the text. And uh, this is a client sent to server. So that's why the plus Q string converted to Q string my and uh, finish with line editor. Here, ready for writing next message, and uh, this is uh, our writing to server. This is our receiving, our writing. We are connect. We have a disconnect. So now let's try. Okay, so here on the server, I will run my TCP server, which is the one the echo. So we let's start it. And uh, okay, so let's run. So here is our GUI interface. So first one, we need a connect. So here we did a connect to server and successfully and the server replied, hello client, this is the server. So it says, it writes right on client, hello. So server replied here on our server side. So you can see when our server side, when they type hello, server received the hello. And after server received hello, send back. Server received hello, tell us. This, uh, this is client. So server received this is the client and after server received this client send back server received this is the client so if I finish it we just disconnect and uh, so our connect to us closed hello this is Hui thanks to watch my video hope for this uh, short video useful and uh, enjoyable it's going to be great to have your feedback so client server is still popular used in recent days.